skating competition show in 2024. Why is it so important to see a show like this on television? Mm. Wow. Because skating has been cyclical over the decades. It's always been around, but it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. Right now with the pandemic leading to more people skating and TikTok, IG, social media, making the world smaller, Usher doing the Super Bowl, this is the perfect time to have a competition show. Because even as a young skater, I always wanted to go, dang, I want to skate with somebody in New York. I want to skate against somebody in Atlanta. And now all of these guys get an opportunity and they waited until my knees and my back went. <laughs> <laughs> but no, everybody is ready to do it. Everybody, it's like the one thing that, because there's football championships, there's NBA championships, but there was never really like, you could say I'm the best, but now you can say, I'm the best. Mm -hmm. And there's 150 reasons, 150,000 reasons mm -hmm. that back you up when you say I'm the best. And that is, it's the perfect time for the first competition show that's televised in the nation. Yeah. Because skating is back, it's rising, it's in Super Bowls, it's in commercials. And so now it, it just makes sense that kids that are coming up practicing have something to strive for. Each of you are champions in your respective fields. You've been in many competitions, and now you're on the other side of the fence as hosts and judges. What does that feel like to come full circle? I love it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice not being judged, you know, on the, on the other side. Oh, um, we're going to get judged, don't worry. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. All of America is going to judge us. Yep. Um, but no, I, I really loved it because I... As the host, I, I was able to kind of, I get to be the liaison be between everybody. So the audience, the judges, and the contestants. And to be able to go from standing up where the judges table is and kind of lend like, oh, I love that storytelling, to be able to walk down and stand between them. And I can feel the energy between them like, oh, I don't know if I'm going home or they're getting prepped to do their battle, uh, you know, the head-to-head -head battle at the end. But to be able to encourage them, because it's not only a physical, um, competition it's not only the skating competition but there's a mental and there's an emotional um competition and, and energy that's flowing through there too and so to be able to go down there and be like look i've been standing where you stood i i understand this feeling i understand the oh i don't know what's going to happen but it's not the end for you so i, I loved being able to do that because i wish that i had somebody who would have done that for me you know so i feel like it's a good way to give back after everything that i've gone through <laughs> and I, th I think we all come from that place where we've been judged, judged so much and will continue to be judged for the rest of our lives as entertainers that these people they not that they've have no experience performing but they don't have as much experience being on television being put into a public spotlight mm -hmm. and having compassion sort of as the ceiling of our show yeah. i think for me as as a participant whether a judge or or not it just made the whole thing so beautiful. And the takeaway is just such warm, gooey, kind of snuggle bear feelings about the show is because it was all about love and celebration and appreciating the talents that are in this world that touches all of us, but that we actually don't know a whole lot about. So Roller Jam, I hope to go for many, many, many seasons, 25 to be exact, just because it is, <laughs> it's such a phenomenal and interesting world. Um, but to find, to see that, that one artist uh, or the one crew find their voice through yeah. this process and be better than they ever thought they could be, that's what that I'm that. in it for as a judge. Yeah. 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 Now the grand total for this prize is $150,000. Mm -hmm. If you all were a team competing mm. on this show. Well, we would have won before you finish <laughs> the question. We would have won. Because no Jordan's a winner. That. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're all winners. <laughs> but who would be in charge of what? Because there's so many things to consider in a competition Ooh. show like this, style, song selection, routine. Oh no. Which one Terrell, of you would be in charge of what? Come on, Zaddy. I would be in charge of choreography. Would you? Yes, because I'm the one who I'll sees everything. Okay, okay. You're, no, you're handling wardrobe. Well, yeah, that's part of the presentation. Oh, okay, yes. And she's handling music. That's yeah. that's a boom. That's an easy one. I, would... I might even sing while we while we skate. As you should. And yeah, I'll do backup you know? vocals. Yeah. And yeah. Terrell will do our rap. I'll rap. Y'all yeah. will say, yeah. we don't want me to sing. Clear. <laughs> we've, we've, we've thought about this before. <laughs> Seems like it. And our group's called Birds of a Feather. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Well, <laughs> you know, speaking about singing, the music is so important in a show like this. Jordan, obviously, you're no stranger to a competition shows and music. You've yes. won American Idol. Yeah. You're a legend, obviously. Thank you. But if you guys had to choose that song that you would skate to to win the competition, the song is so important. What would that song be? Swan Lake. So you know what? I think that here's the funny part. I want to dance with somebody. I think that that would yeah. be the only part we'd fight over. 
I would defer to you on I'm, wardrobe. I'm a soloist I would to right you. now. Right I now, I'm a soloist. You know what? I'll make it easy. We'd have to take something off her new album. Oh, thank you. Okay. Bam. Works uh, for me. Still, still Swan Bam. Lake. I would, still I would Swan Lake. support you, but um, I will if you all wouldn't it, go Swan Lake, you get it. the eye of the tiger. He, he knows what he can Ooh, do to Swan Lake. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. I'm with it. Right. As you long can, as, as can long you sing Swan Lake? Is there vocals in that song? You can make them. Okay. I'd have See to now, look now, look what's gonna happen. Now you're throwing us into two, You're gonna throw us in there, and now we're gonna birds of a feather is gonna come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Now, Johnny, if you had to skate to one song to win a competition, what would that be for you? I mean, Swan Lake. We've just yeah, discussed it. Swan yes. Lake. That's my go-to. It's a classic. It's forever beautiful. And I, I would always choose Swan Lake over everything. There's also like a, a swerve that went viral on TikTok called Alibi. That's kind of a fun song. Mm. Like, a, I'll play it for you after. Okay. I'm, I, I'm sure you know it. But anyway, Swan Lake would be my like knee jerk reaction go to. I'm winning this thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Keep smiling, yeah. please. Yeah, good energy, brother. It was lovely to meet you. Thank you so much.